What makes you think that I'm an answer if you ain't mine? Even if you call me up on all right, guys, I actually wanted to come on camera for this one. It's been a minute, but God damn it, I'm coming on camera. Because this is a controversy worth coming on camera for me. <laughs> Brand new Gamergate controversy. This one exploded online due to Cabrutus and his curator list, okay? And there's a there's a couple of clowns. No, there's three clowns that I want to talk about in, in, in particular, okay? All right, I'm going to try my best to, like, you know, not roast, because, you know, roasting is what I do, but Jesus, boy, this shit is just a bad. Okay, so first of all, let's go ahead and talk about the game that's at the center of this controversy. This is the game Tales of Kinzera. Um, this is a game made by a indie developer, uh, a guy who made it a video game to, I guess, deal with the death of his father, and shouts out to him, because I've said from the jump that more uh, black people should make their own games for them themselves so that they can make their way instead of forcing white people to include them in it and, and i agree with that but we're in the middle of a war ladies and gentlemen and unfortunately in war there are casualties innocent bystanders get destroyed and that's just what it is and so what happens is you got uh, uh cabrutus points out um he says sup what's up guys just want to remind that uh um zao it, i guess that's how zayu zai i don't know nigga, uh it's gonna launch today uh, this game is on Sweet Baby Ink Detectives curator page, and yeah, it is connected to Sweet Baby Ink. Remember to vote with your wallet. Now, the reason why I want to address this is because these niggas online are constantly, constantly trying to misrepresent what's actually happening happening here. They're misrepresenting it. And the reason I'm using misrepresent very, very intentionally here. Because I don't want to go as far as to say they're lying, because the thing about feminine warfare, which I talk to y'all about all the time, is they know how to manipulate words and their meaning in order to 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 paint the narrative that they want to paint about you or whatever it is that they're talking about. And so they're misrepresenting what's actually happening here. So let's go ahead and go back to the context. Back on February 2nd, a game called Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League came out. Okay. The game was trash, like bar none, <laughs> garbage, buns, cheeks. Now, I don't really understand why any of y'all niggas would have went out and bought that game anyway. It's reveal last year was pretty trash. So they delayed it because of the negative uh, response to what they were getting. And so I knew from Jump Street, I wasn't paying $70 for that bullshit. And some of y'all niggas did. I feel bad for you. It is what it is. I'm going to get you a you stupid. Yeah, that's your fault. I'm sorry. I'm, I, I, I Blushed your wallet right on down the drain with that one. That's 70 bucks. You will never get back, dog. <laughs> Well, I don't know. I heard some of y'all actually did get your money back, but whatever. So the point is, when the game came out, it was trash. But on top of the game being trash, it was full of weird, like, narrative decisions that didn't make no sense. The mistreatment of the, the Justice League characters, not giving them their just due. Despite, I get it, they were supposed to be the villains here. And the people that you're playing with are technically villains. So I guess they wouldn't behave in that way. Which would be fine if you would have treated all of the Justice League characters that way, but you didn't. Because you treated Wonder Woman with the utmost respect. They also had weird language about misogyny and stuff like this in some of the character bios. Also, they did this weird thing with, uh, uh, what's her name? Harley Quinn with the wanting to wear a more modern outfit as opposed to her more comic book ac accurate outfit. But what I'm trying to say here, it was very obvious that there was some feminist ideology being woven into this narrative really quick right and so when people started realizing this they started drawing a line between suicide squad and several other pro high profile releases that had similar narrative designs that didn't make any sense for example the inexplicable inclusion of a random black girl in a video game about norse mythology okay the fuck or another example peter parker getting sunned over and over and over again in his own game for a nigga who's been Spider-Man for five minutes. Additionally, the constant inclusion of a downgraded Mary Jane Watson in a game that we told the developers we didn't enjoy and they decided to keep it in there anyway. For what reasons? Oh, because women. Or even worse, a swagged out superhero who's black who inexplicably is in a relationship with a deaf girl with a nose the size of Mordor. Yeah, like that's ever gonna fucking happen. Fuck out of here. Anyway, the point is, these decisions didn't make any sense. And so people started drawing the lines and they connected the dots to one company called Sweet Baby Inc. Now this is, this is low key, right? Nobody's really talking about this, right? There's this gamer named Cabrutus who creates a Steam curator list on Steam for people who want to avoid games that are, you know, 
have Sweet Baby Inc. involved. There's no problem there. Consumers do this all the time. They avoid companies. Bud Light got boycotted. Gillette has been being boycotted for years after that stunt they pulled them years ago. It's it, This happens all the time. It's never been a problem. All of a sudden, it became a problem. But again, it wasn't that popular until this one Sweet Baby Inc. employee named Chris Kendrick decided to come out and try to get Cabrutus banned from Steam, and it backfired. And a group that went from maybe a couple thousand members exploded to damn near half a million members. And that's where all of this shit came from. Keep in mind, the key here is that Chris Kendrick started the bullshit by trying to get Cabrutus banned. Otherwise, we wouldn't be here right now. So what gamers ultimately decided to do was they wanted to boycott Sweet Baby Inc. and anything involved with them. Now, you might be saying, okay, it's about the whole DEI thing. And you're right. It is about the DEI thing because... What gamers believe is DEI interrupts the creative process. We've seen it. You can look at that. What is that game? That recent game, Flintlock, Flintrock, something where they came in and they literally forced those developers to change their white lead character into a black lead character. And the game has been in flux for a very long time since. All right. So now that you know the context about what's going on, keep in mind Suicide Squad had nothing to do with black or white. It was more, that was more about feminist shit. There was no racism shit going on, but I digress. So anyway, so you get, you know, little comments like this. This is clown number one, Mighty Keith. Admittedly, I have been subscribed to Mighty Keith's uh, channel before. Uh, he used to be funny. I guess he ran out of material. And now he spends most of his time on Twitter arguing back and forth with gamers about various topics, including being a fucking jo social justice warrior, I, I suppose. Okay. All right. So he says... Uh, 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 a black man made a game themed in his Kenyan culture and people in the comments are saying things like DEI. This is what I mean when I say people just say shit they hear others say without having any idea what the word means. I'm getting the game just to spite these weirdos. What? Bro, what are you... What the fuck are you talking... First of all, first of all, let's address this right now. The entire point of boycotting Sweet Baby Inc. is so they don't get my money. So they don't get their... Like, we don't give a fuck what you do. If you buy the game, good on you, Mike. <laughs> Nobody gives a shit. If the game sells well, awesome. They could have sold more if it, if it wasn't for Sweet Baby Inc. But the point is, don't nobody give a fuck that you buy the game. You're spiting us. What are you talking about? We're playing the shit that we want to play. You think we give a fuck because you went out and bought the game? And what does that say about you that instead of buying the game because you wanted to play it, you bought the game just to spite people? How fucking stupid do you sound? Secondly, what was the point of you bringing up a black man? <clears throat> I expect behavior like this from women. I don't expect it from men. Your shit gets bought based on merit. But let me guess, you one of them black people who believe black people can't survive in a merit-based society, don't you? Which would, you know, you out here calling everybody else racist, don't you think that's a little bit racist? No, nigga, we buy the game based on your merit. I don't give a fuck that it was made by a black man. Is the game good? Now, in this particular case, unfortunately, and big ups to him, it's unfortunate, but he happened to work with a company that he had no idea was going to tank their own reputation in a way that's radioactive for everybody else okay that's that's just what it is and that's that's truly unfortunate maybe his game could and his game might still sell well by the way it is an indie game and it's probably getting more pub publicity than it probably would have got if not for this controversy so you never know it might backfire like the hogwarts legacy situation uh did this is what i mean when i say people just say shit they hear and others and and, and without having any idea what the word means uh, we know what diversity, equity, and inclusion means, and we don't need to hear nobody else tell us. We can visually see that the game has Sweet Baby Inc. involved in it. The entire point is to boycott Sweet Baby Inc. We don't give a fuck who made the game, why they made the game, what their nationality is, what their race is, what their gender is. We don't give a fuck. Was Sweet Baby Inc. involved? Yes, then I don't buy. The fuck that got to do with him being a black man, the fuck that got to do with whether or not you know what DEI even means, and what the fuck does that have to do with you actually buying the game? The worst part of this is this nigga actually knows exactly why people aren't buying the game, but he's gaslighting you into thinking that you have no point. Do, 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 do. Hold on, hold on, where is it, where is it? Here, here he goes. This person says, I saw this revealed at the Game Awards, so it makes even less sense to me why a guy like him would need or want consultation from Sweet Baby Inc. when he's already a part of the culture the game is based on. That is a valid point. 
if you are Kenyan and this is a game based on Kenyan culture, why would you need to consult a company like Sweet Baby Inc. to tell you how to make such game? Well, you answer it yourself. I think in order to get the proper funds from shareholders, certain things need to be checked off. Consulting Sweet Baby Inc. might be one of them. Oh, so you know what the fuck is going on. The entire point of boycotting Sweet Baby Inc. goofball is so that we can show the industry that we don't want these fucking consulting companies in hopes, in hopes, that they will stop doing business with them. Now, to be honest with you, will it work? Probably not. Sweet Baby Inc. could probably close down and reopen up as a different company as, under a different name, under the same leadership. You're probably right about that. <laughs> but who gives a shit? We're gonna boycott the motherfuckers anyway. Let's move on to clown number two. Now, this one hurt my heart. This one hurt my heart. This one hurt my heart. Neo Game Spark bars. Oh my God. I, I actually like Neo Game Spark. I was a fan of his content. You know what I'm saying? I liked his takes. I felt like he was really down to earth. But unfortunately, even some of your favorite black people are either infected with melanin monster syndrome or uh, Trump derangement syndrome. Most of the time, it's melanin monster syndrome. <laughs> what do I mean by melanin monster? It's these motherfuckers who wake up every single day of the week thinking about their skin color. Everything is about their skin color. <laughs> Like literally everything. They wake up, oh, my breath stank is because of racism. They go to work stuck in traffic, oh my God, it's so much racism. You get what I'm saying? Somebody put too much lettuce on their burger today, oh, that motherfucker got to be racist. Oh, they don't like me because I'm black. Man, I'm sweating a lot today. It must be because I'm black. Like these niggas have they, have, they wake up every single day and cry racism. So this nigga here, Mr. Positive, right. Uh, a video game created by black folks centered around black folks is being called DEI. White folks, we get it. You're looking no better using DEI versus what you really want to say well this is interesting considering the fact that the nigga who made the list is brazilian you goofball <laughs> it's a, he's brazilian so congratulations you played yourself all right <laughs> this shit is comical all right second of all uh nobody's calling nobody's calling a kenyan game made by a kenyan nigga diversity equity and inclusion are you stupid nobody's doing that all right, what people are talking about is once again, Sweet Baby Inc., okay? The company who has made diversity, equity, and inclusion their mission statement. It's literally on their website. That's what they're talking about, okay? Like, I don't know, what the fuck? Like, you niggas claim racism, racism, racism. If racism is so fucking prevalent in gaming, how does a game like Apex Legends make a billion dollars a year? Nigga, it's so much diversity, I get a diversity fucking headache in that fucking game. And niggas play that shit every single day of the week. They got trans niggas, they got niggas niggas, they got women niggas, they got lesbian girl, uh, chicks, and they got Asian chicks and Asian... Like, how? How does a game like a uh, uh, death loop get played and nobody complains about it. how do people get overly excited for for a black panther game being made by ea if everybody's so racist wait a minute wasn't niggas just cheering on the idea we finally get a blade game but we all supposed to be so goddamn racist you can't make this shit up but anyway neo game spark responded and said bro i peeped that thread and the words i want to say man let me not start my day off like this come on neo you smarter than this buddy yeah. You smarter than this. But you guys are, you know, I ain't gonna rush you too bad because you ain't say too much. You kind of kept, I went and looked on his page. He ain't had too much to say about it. I think Neo Game Spark, Spark is, is smart. He ain't gonna say too much. But you niggas is like, you you sitting here agreeing with this is wild. It's wild. It's fucking wild, okay? Uh, and then uh, clown number three, I wanted to get into. Uh, where he at? Where he at? Where you at, clown number three? Clown number three, where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Oh, here we go. Clown number three. This guy. Now we made a video on this guy before. Um, don't know what's going on here. Pretty much, I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty sure that's AI. <laughs> I'm pretty, but yeah, this, you guys remember this guy? This guy. You remember that? You remember this guy? We made a video on him roasting him before. Well, he's back, and he has a take. They've reached the point of boycotting a double A game with no microtransactions made by a passionate gamer in order to check notes, make gaming better. These people don't give a shit about the gaming industry. <laughs> you can't make this shit up. You cannot make this shit up. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? These people don't give a shit about the gaming industry. We don't give a shit about the gaming industry. No, nigga, we give a fuck about the games we want to play. The fuck? I don't give a fuck if little Billy Jones get a fucking raise at his job. I don't give a fuck whether they get to keep their job or not. I don't care whether the studio closed, nigga. It's the game that I'm paying 70 fucking dollars for 
worth my time? Or do I got to open up another game and be lectured to preach that looking at weird creative decisions that make no sense because the creators decided they wanted to include diversity, equity, and inclusion into the game where it didn't fucking fit. That's what I'm worried about. I don't give a fuck about you niggas. I don't give a fuck about you. If you fucking lose your job today, I don't care. We know one thing, it's gonna be video games. We don't care who make them as long as they're good fucking games, okay? <laughs> a prime example is this, and this is not in the video game industry at all. Bo DeMeo, creator of the new X-Men 97 uh, uh, show, is gay, and he once said, I'm making this game through the lens of my gay experience don't know what the fuck that nigga was talking about maybe i just don't know the gay experience but i didn't think there was nothing gay about the x-men 97 show this shit is rocking <laughs> that show is fucking amazing i don't know what y'all i don't know if y'all i don't know why y'all ain't watched it yet but some of y'all need to quit tripping get off the anti-disney bandwagon for two minutes and watch this show this that show is life-changing and i don't know what disney thinking about hire rehire bo de mayo nigga. i don't know what the fuck y'all thinking about that nigga's a genius I don't care how gay he is. That nigga's a genius. But anyway, uh, coming back to games, the point I'm trying to make there with that comparison is that good content does not care about your politics on either side. It doesn't care. If it's a good game, niggas gonna play it. Hogwarts Legacy had y'all left-wing niggas mad as shit, okay? Again, God of War Ragnarok, weird inclusion of a black girl in a Norse mythology game. Weird, kind of took me out of the experience. Enjoyed the game nonetheless. Good content does not care about your politics. The problem is most of the content y'all niggas put out when you're trying to include your politics into it is garbage. <laughs> it's trash. All you got to do is go and look at Forspoken. Okay. Prime example of that. How does that include politics? Well, you hire black girl gamers to come in and you were so desperate to put a black girl at the front of it that you forgot that the black the black girl lead actually had to be a likable character. Anyway, the conversation goes on. You know, I, you can see I responded to him. Another clown trying to misrepresent what is actually happening here. For those of you seeking truth, gamers are actually boycotting Sweet Baby Inc. And any game with them uh, involved, if you worked uh, with SBI on your game, that's unfortunate, but it is what it is. So he responds, oh, so it's not on hopes to make games better. My response to him was, if you don't believe it makes games better, that's perfectly fine. You're not obligated to. However, don't get on here lying and misrepresenting what people are doing. And I mean that. You are not obligated to boycott Sweet Baby Inc. If you want to play this game, I got a friend of mine who's pretty anti-woke as much as I, and he's going to play that You Didn't Chronicle game, despite the fact the localizers are fucking up the, the language in the game. No problem with that. I don't have no problem with anybody enjoying the game that they spent money on, okay? He goes, I... He goes, I definitely think it's dumb. I And also, where did I misrepresent it? I said, you're making it seem as though gamers are boycotting the game without mentioning that they are actually boycotting Sweet Baby Inc. Gamers have actually been saying they don't have any issue with the developer at all. Watch this. Watch this. He goes, oh, okay. So, you're, so they're not boycotting the game, a.k.a. not buying the game for their cause. They're boycotting Sweet Baby Inc., which is involved with this game, thus boycotting this game by not buying it for their cause. This was him trying to be snarky and funny, and he looks like a fucking idiot. He looks like a fuck. Nowhere in this comment did I say that gamers are not boycotting the game. I said you are misrepresenting the fact that gamers are actually boycotting the game because of Sweet Baby Inc., not because of the game itself. I did not say that they're not boycotting the game, idiot. Okay, I responded that way. He says, yeah, because what you're saying is silly. They are, in fact, boycotting the game. Everyone sees this tweet, knows why. The original post tweet is literally quoted. I don't even get what you think. You're clarified. This is why I always advocate for debating with people in person because I, I really wonder what you niggas would say if somebody was truly in your face. Truly in your face. Because there's no way you're this, this disingenuous. And I said that. I said, I don't think you niggas would be this disingenuous if forced to look your opposition in the eye. He said, I would. I promise. Doubt it. You're not making sense. They're not boycotting the game. They're boycotting SBI. So, so, just, uh, so just every game involved. I said, no, nigga. My exact quote was, you're making it seem as though gamers are boycotting the game without mentioning that they are actually boycotting Sweet Baby Inc. I never once said they wasn't boycotting the game. Fucking checkmate. It is checkmate. Uh, uh, and then he said, what is this tweet? I didn't even reply to him because it's obviously you're, you're arguing with a bag of potatoes here. Uh, uh, an absolute moron who, who refuses to, to actually look at any rationale, acting like the female his mama raised him to be using no logic. And, and it, it, you can't debate with it. This is feminine warfare. It is, I can't argue my point. So I'm going to tell you that what you're saying is silly, despite the fact that everybody can see. I don't know if you realize, bro, but you're getting ratio. You're getting ratio, nigga. Look, you're getting ratio. 161 likes, 29 likes. 
149 likes, 31 likes, 202 likes, 76 likes, 576 likes. Well, obviously, this one was the original post. But the point I'm making here is you niggas lying, okay? You niggas are misrepresenting the entire situation, and um, that's all I have to say about that. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments. I'll talk to you later. Oh, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you.